Hello everyone, I'm back. Okay, I've switched to another couple of things. Uh, just after looking through uh, Dynatron stuff again, I've switched them back to the center tap and outsides going to the diodes. And it's running fine. Uh, okay, but I've changed the primary back to one quarter of the length of one of these coils. Um, so not a quarter of the length of both of them, but a quarter wave of one half. And uh, center tapping it, it's, you know, doubling it, essentially, I guess. Halving the voltage, doubling the current. Um, and as you can see, it's working. Okay, what's interesting though is uh, we've got the uh, maximum amplitude on the uh, on the frequency. Let's try to get it in there. Okay. And um, it looks like uh, nine, 960 kilohertz, uh, which is about right because of the ring. You can uh, find it when you're pulsing it really slowly. I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, but um, I've got the light, and obviously this is not lit because we're in resonance. I just switched some uh, capacitor values. And uh, I changed the inductance uh, incredibly when uh, I center tapped it and uh, put the caps on the outside ends. And the inductance is so touchy now. Just watch this. Try to. The problem with these big bulbs is uh, it just short circuits and it avoids the load uh, with uh, these bulbs. It. Uh, makes them all blue and kills the insides of them, so I'm still trying to figure out the incandescence, but anyway. Uh, so the ferrite, when you adjust that, okay. But the bulb on the primary just has not lit at whatsoever. And they say that uh, the uh, caduceus coil um, is, uh, um, they say it has zero impedance and uh, all these kind of really cool things. Um, and I've found it's, uh, it's really worked totally amazing. Uh, I think it's better than having uh, it's centered in the center. Um, why not spread it out? Uh, lower its, uh, you know, inductance by spreading out the wires, or uh, sorry, lower its capacitance. Um, that may not even be an issue, but uh, either way, this bulb on the primary. I'll adjust the frequency and show you. It almost seems to be in resonance at every frequency. I'm just sweeping uh, from one kilohertz up. The secondary is reacting, but there is such a resistance in the primary circuit that this tiny bulb cannot light, yet we're getting very good response on the uh, output and um, okay so I'll figure out where that's brightest just putting in a few volts okay so right about here 970 kilohertz uh, that was 
10 kilohertz off from last time, visually. Um, we've got the wave going here. See that? So what I'm going to do is zoom out. Okay. Uh, that's about uh, 5 kilohertz um, scale there. 970 kilohertz. We're going to turn it right down to uh, like. Um, the waves as I sweep down. And that's reading the uh, L L2 coil. Some responses and harmonics uh, around. But anyway, I want to show you when it gets down to uh, Here's 500 hertz. You can see this uh, vibration. Right? So that's because it's just pinging the coil, and the coil is ringing at its natural frequency, which is what it will be ringing at regardless of the input frequency okay this in, in this case is just to identify what frequency that is but we can do that by doing this you adjust to where the wave is within one square line to line and then you'll go and look and that's at one microsecond or uh, eh, a little bit under, or something like that. Anyway, uh, well, that tells you that uh, one microsecond, one millionth of a second, one megahertz, and uh, we'll sweep it back up to where we were before. A little under one megahertz, and we get the best amplitude above or below, and it's less. So we end up with the brightest light biggest wave and no light on the primary and uh, at any frequency there's no light on the primary which is uh, pretty odd at every frequency it's resonant it's pretty hard to believe but you're seeing it pull out the ferret So that's about and then when you look at the wave when I adjust the ferret as well. Pretty cool. <clears throat> so I'm, I've established uh, resonance for the center tap 
and the capacitor uh, grabbing both sides now. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.